This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Classic Vanilla Slice is one of those desserts that makes you really appreciate how simple desserts can be absolute stunners. This dessert is all about two things. A thick layer of vanilla bean speckled custard sandwiched between two buttery puff pastry layers. Dusted with powdered sugar and ready for you to dig into, Classic never tasted so good. Let's begin with those puff pastry layers. It's actually really easy. We're going to be using ready-made puff pastry because nobody has time to make it yourself. Although I would like to try that one day. And if you guys want to see me do a recipe on that, let me know in the comments down below. So these are frozen solid. You're going to pop them on a baking tray lined with baking paper. Two in fact. Let them thaw for about 10 minutes and then prick them with a fork and create holes throughout the entire sheet. Then you're going to place another sheet of baking paper on top, in my case silicon baking mat, another baking tray on top and that's going to help weigh it down as it bakes. Again, this is puff pastry, it's going to want to puff but we don't want it too puffy. These are going to go in the oven to bake and we're going to move on to the filling. Add some caster sugar and cornstarch to a large mixing bowl. Whisk that together before you add eight egg yolks. And if you're looking for recipes on how to use those egg whites, I have loads of recipes up on my website that you can check out. Once you've whisked those ingredients together, you're going to add about a quarter cup of hot milk to that mixture. Whisk it in before you add the rest of the milk and continue whisking. Then add some vanilla bean paste. Alternatively, you can use real vanilla beans. Whisk that in and then add it to a large pot. We're gonna whisk this using a whisk or wooden spoon on medium high heat until this mixture thickens. And you can see that it's thickened when you run your finger on the back of a spoon and it doesn't all come back together. So once it's done that, turn the heat off and add your butter. You want to whisk that in until it's well combined and melted. Now let's listen to a quick word by today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills in anything you like. One of my fellow YouTube bakers, Lori from The Icing Artist, has a course on there teaching you how to decorate cakes, cookies, and cupcakes. Her class is comprehensive, but really easy to follow. In fact, every class on Skillshare is designed to be easy to follow, and they're taught by people who have knowledge and skills to teach you how to get amazing results in the thing you want to learn about. So whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or just join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. Now, the first 1,000 people who use the link in my description box will receive a one-month free trial to Skillshare Premium. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Let's move on to finishing off this delicious tart. Our puff pastry layers baked beautifully. They're so golden and delicious. Now I'm going to be using a 9 inch cake tin today, so these are slightly bigger than that. So I'm going to pop it on top of one of the layers, very gently using a sharp serrated knife. You're going to slowly score that pastry, and by score I mean just gently running the knife on top again and again to just slowly cut the puff pastry. If you try doing it too quickly, you risk it cracking in weird shapes. So do that on all four sides and you have a puff pastry layer that's perfectly the size of the bottom of your tin. Repeat that with the other puff pastry layer if your tin is a different size on the top. You can see mine is slightly angled. Line your baking tray with baking paper. I'm going to add some little clips on the side to keep those in place. I've left a little bit overhanging as well and that's going to make taking this out once it's set much easier. Add your first baked puff pastry layer. We're going to run our pastry cream through a sift and that's going to make sure if there's any lumps in there while we were cooking it, it's not going to end up in our final dessert. Smooth that out using a spatula before you add the next and final layer of baked puff pastry. 
This is ready to go in the fridge to set. Once it has set, again, using the excess baking paper on the side, easily lift it out of your baking tin. And guys, I've always wondered how do you cut a vanilla slice without it looking like a hot mess? Well, again, it's all about gently scoring that puff pastry. I'm using a large serrated knife to slowly score it. Once I can feel that my knife has gone through that top layer of puff pastry, I cut the rest of my slice in one motion. Cut your dessert three by three slices, which is gonna give you nine of these delicious desserts, and then cover it in a generous dusting of powdered sugar. Also guys, look at that flaky pastry and those delicious vanilla beans. I mean, yum. If you'd like to grab the recipe for this delicious classic vanilla dessert, it's on my website, thescranline.com. Link for that is in the box below. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. If you'd like to see more recipes from me, I've got them up on screen right now. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.